Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Amparucci and since fall is here, I'm going to be bringing you guys some delicious comforting soup recipes. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make this amazing red chile and beef pozole. But before we get started, don't forget if you enjoy this video to give it a big thumbs up, click down below and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post new recipe videos. Shout out to Carista aka Pretty Eyes AZ for giving me this suggestion on Instagram. So here I have a three pound piece of chuck roast. When I cook, I don't measure stuff out. I always eyeball. For baking, I do like to measure stuff out, but when I'm cooking, I don't measure it out. So I'm going to be trying to guesstimate how much I'm using for everything. So I'm using kosher salt and I'm just sprinkling, honestly, if I had to guess, I would say maybe like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of salt. And I'm using some fresh pepper. I'm gonna flip this bad boy over and season the other side. The same, like a teaspoon and a half. of salt maybe go a little lighter on the salt because you can always add more salt but if you add way too much salt it's going to be salty and you can't take that away now to that i'm going to add a few sprigs of thyme so here i have one sprig and I just like to remove the leaves from the stem. Two sprigs. I have like six sprigs of thyme. And then I have two sprigs of fresh oregano as well. I'm going to rip those out of the stems. And just add that throughout. And then I have two pieces of garlic. These are pretty big. I'm going to mash those and just break them around. I'm not adding any onion because we're going to add the onion to the sauce and to the soup itself. And I have my chuck roast in a lasagna pan and I'm going to fill this up halfway with water. So this is three cups of water. I'm gonna bake this at 375 degrees for two hours. Two hours later. After two hours, I took the meat out of the oven and as you can see, it's tender, but it's not like super, super tender where it's falling apart, which is perfect because this is gonna continue cooking in the pot with the hominy and everything else. What I am going to do is I'm going to grab all this liquid and I'm going to pour it into a measuring cup. I have about a cup and a half of the beef broth, I guess you can say. If you don't have enough, you can add water to that or add a little bit of extra beef broth to it. For this recipe, I'm using three 29 ounce cans of white corn, also known as white hominy. Okay, I poured my three cans of hominy into a large pot and I drained them a few times. Now I filled the pot with water halfway and I'm gonna let these boil for 10 minutes. Okay, then after 10 minutes, I'm gonna turn the heat off and let these just sit in there while I work on the red chile sauce. Now into a medium saucepan, I'm going to add two guajillo chiles, one ancho chile, some fresh oregano, two cloves of garlic, and one small yellow onion. And I do wanna mention that I already removed all the seeds from my chiles. So into this medium pot, I'm going to add the one and a half cup of beef broth along with the onion, garlic, oregano, chile ancho, and chile guajito. 
and I'm gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes in here on like medium heat. So after I cooked the chiles, onion, garlic, and everything, I forgot that I didn't take the stem out my chiles, so I'm gonna do that. And this has been, this is cool. I let it cool at room temperature. Don't dig your hands in here when it's straight out the stove top. And I'm gonna pour all this into a food processor and make a really yummy chile sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna pour that in here. Alright, now I'm going to grab my chile and pour it into a strainer. So after my hominy cooked for 10 minutes and I strained all my chile sauce, I'm going to add that into the hominy. And I'm not going to drain the water out of the hominy because this is a soup, so and I'm going to give that a mix. And at this point, you can taste it and see if it needs more salt and pepper. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. And some fresh cracked pepper. Put that on medium heat and pop the lid back on. Meanwhile, I'm gonna start cutting my meat. Now here I have my meat and I'm just gonna cut that in chunks. I don't want it shredded. I like chunks in my pozole. And it's tender but it's not like in your mouth fall apart tender which is great because this is gonna keep cooking with the hominy and the chile. And it's gonna get even more tender in there. I'm actually gonna give this a taste. Mmm, so juicy, perfectly seasoned. Now I'm gonna add all my meat in here. And I'm gonna let this simmer over medium heat for like 15 minutes. Now I like to add fresh lime juice into the pozole soup while it's cooking because I just feel like it gives it such a distinct flavor. So I have two limes here that I'm going to squeeze the juice out of. And then to that I'm going to add more water to equal two cups. Now that the meat has been cooking in the pozole for like 15-20 minutes, I'm going to add in the lime juice. Give that all a quick mix. And then I'm gonna give it a taste. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of salt since we added more water. Now I'm gonna dice one small onion. I'm gonna add that into the pozole. Along with some cilantro. And again, I'm gonna cook this for another 15 to 20 minutes on medium high heat to let all the flavors marinate together. So after the pozole has been simmering for at least 15 minutes, oof, look at that. The longer you let it sit, the more flavorful and delicious it's gonna get and the more tender the meat's gonna get. But I'm anxious to dig in, so I'm going to make myself a bowl. I mean, just look at how delicious that looks. I'm gonna tap that with some fresh cilantro and a little lime piece. 
Okay, I'm gonna give this bad boy a try. Mmm. Oh my god. This pozole is bomb. Like, when I say bomb, I mean bomb. Look at this. <sighs> Smells amazing. Look at how tender this meat is. Mmm. The meat is super tender. It soaks up all that chile flavor. Ah! This is delicious, especially when you're feeling under the weather. This soup right here has like natural healing powers, I'm telling you. Mm. There's nothing better. Mm. And look at how tender the meat got. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I will be linking my blog up here, so make sure you check it out. I will have the full written recipe for this. Delicious, I promise you, the best dish I've made on my channel. Absolutely, 100% will not disappoint. Thank you guys for watching my video on how to make this delicious pozole recipe. Remember, I will be linking my blog with the full written recipe up above and down below in the description box. Don't forget to check out these other recipes.